This is unprecedented. In the air and at sea, Taiwan is surrounded. When it comes to safeguarding the interests of the motherland, the blood of heroes always flows in our veins. More than 100 Chinese warplanes and 10 warships are taking part in the live fire drills, with missiles launched over the island into the Pacific. And to match the military might, diplomatic sanctions too. We are not Iraq, Syria or Afghanistan. We will not allow any foreign force to bully, suppress or enslave us. Whoever wants to do so will be on a collision course with the Great Wall of Steel forged by the 1.4 billion Chinese people. The torrent of military activity has caused havoc in shipping lanes and flight paths, forcing fishermen in Taiwan to stop work. The drill caused some losses, one fisherman said. It's squid season now and some can earn thousands of US dollars per day. The woman who caused all this is now in Tokyo and sounding defiant. They may try to keep Taiwan from visiting or participating in other places, but they will not isolate Taiwan by preventing us to travel there even as the Secretary of State calls for calm. The fact is, the Speaker's visit was peaceful. There is no justification for this extreme, disproportionate and escalatory military response. Those monitoring Chinese social media argue Xi Jinping was under public pressure to act. There are very strong sentiment among the Chinese population because they always firmly believe that Taiwan is a part of China, so they want the government to react. And the Chinese people don't want Taiwanese people to get hurt? Of course not. They can see that we're all Chinese family. They don't want to harm the people living in the island. The hope here is that China's military drills end as planned on Sunday and diplomatic relations on defence, cross-border crime, climate change gradually recover. And even though privately the White House would rather none of this had ever happened, it has succeeded in putting Taiwan and questions over its future in the international spotlight. That may act as a valuable insurance policy if China's ambitions change. Joe Pike, Sky News, Washington.